Welcome folks, I'm Jason and I want to give you just a quick explainer on what color gamut is and what out of gamut colors really are. You may hear the phrase that the color that you're using is out of gamut. Very quick video here just explaining what is gamut, what is out of gamut, how to fix it, and how to understand it. To make things simple, the color gamut is the full range of color that your eye can see. And the circle that you're looking at is the color range or the color gamut. And that is the visible range of colors. Now we have other ranges of colors that we can reproduce in both light, so television, video, your cell phone, or a tablet. But we also have a range of colors that can be printed using your cyan, magenta, yellow, and black inks or your ink cartridges on your printer. So the full spectrum of color is what we call the full gamut. And then we have limited gamuts for both print and display. So to understand what we're talking about print and display, RGB is basically light. So we have red light, green light, and blue light. And those put together are going to create everything that we see with our eyes. RGB is an additive color model. When you add the colors together in equal parts, you are going to get white when all those colors add together. And black is going to be the absence of light. And you can see when you add red and green light together, you get yellow light. Green and blue, you get cyan light. And red and blue, you get magenta light. But all those together are going to form white light. So that's the RGB color space, or the RGB gamut. CMYK is what we use for print, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. That is a subtractive color model. CMYK assumes that we're printing on a white background, so when you combine CMYK together, you get black. With RGB light, we have our different channels or different colors of light. CMYK is actually derived from those colors. Interestingly enough, cyan is the combination of green and blue light. That's how we get cyan. Magenta is the combination of red and blue light, which is how we get magenta. And then red and green, you get yellow, which is how we make those colors for CMYK, for print. Now, interestingly enough, when we talk about something that is out of gamut, that means that we cannot reproduce those colors in the particular color space that we're using as an end result. So we have our full gamut of colors. We have our gamut of RGB colors that we can display, which is fairly large, but we cannot display all of the visible colors of the spectrum that our eyes can see on a light emanating device. Now, if we go to print any of those colors, we are limited even more. So we have our gamut of printable colors, which is very small, and everything that is outside that printable range of colors is out of gamut. So printable colors have a much smaller range than colors that can be created on a display, and display colors has a smaller range than our full gamut of visible colors. So any colors that fall out of the range that we're trying to reproduce either for print or for display, is what's defined as out of gamut. Now, when we're creating these colors, it's very good to know what out of gamut is and how to make sure we correct this. Here, I'm showing you the color picker in the Adobe products, and this is common in Photoshop, in Illustrator, and in Design, and any other place that the Adobe products use a color picker. Here, I have my colors sent to my brightness, which is our hue, saturation, and brightness, which is our HSB radio buttons. And the brightness button is actually showing me the entire spectrum of color on the left-hand side. And then the middle slider is showing me basically how light or how dark I can go with that particular color. Now, the warning sign here says that when the, I choose a color here, in this case, this turquoise blue, this is fine if I'm going to be using this for display. However, it is not in gamut if I want to print. So it's telling me, this warning sign is saying, hey, it is out of gamut if you want to print. If you want to use this for the web or any light emanating device, it's fine, but it's not for print. And 
little side note too, that if you want to get a hex color out of this, you can click on the lower color box below the three-dimensional cube, and that's going to give you the hex color that's going to be closest to the color in the visible spectrum. So this is how you correct an out-of-gamut color to make sure it'll work both for web and for print. Now, understanding the conversion between colors that are based in light or RGB spectrum, on the left we have our RGB colors. Now, RGB colors tend to be a little bit more vivid and bright because they can go ahead and sample a much larger range of visible colors. However, they would be out of gamut if we wanted to print them in CMYK. So when we do that conversion to get them in gamut for printing, you can see they lose some of their pop or their vibrance. So the RGB colors, they're bright on screen, but there just is no equivalent to go and make them work when we're trying to print them. Print is a very small range of colors that we can see. RGB is much bigger. So we lose some range when we convert to CMYK from RGB. Hope that helps.